put in a call up set here and this is a manufactured call up set usually I will look for places that they are actually crawling up but these things really work um, and really what it is it's it's visual and and rats are moving all over and crawling up on everything so we're just going to create a little spot for them to crawl up and we got a good start here we got a good place for the trap bed and what you like to do is just get it get blackened up and muddy and it just draws them in Again, we're going to stake out. This rat shouldn't have any trouble drowning here. You know, if you got six inches of water, you won't have trouble drowning them. If you got a good trap, um, what they do is they just they get tired and they, they drown. They fight the trap. Twelve inches is better, but six inches will do. We'll get that trap so it lays kind of flat. All right, we're going to bed the trap right there. Oh, I'm just going to show you a simple concept here that's been around through the ages. I used to trap with an old mink trapper. I was 15. He'd take me along and he's a good mink trapper. He's pretty overweight though. He was old and, and so he'd send me down on some of those steep banks to remove the critter and reset it. He was a good-natured guy, but he'd yell at me from the, from up on top once in a while. And one of the things, first off, he taught me is if you can, you want your critter going across the trap this way, not that way. Now, no matter what you do, you're going to get some that go across the trap that way. But you get better catches that go across this way because the jaws will throw the foot up, or if they're stepping on that dog, that'll throw the foot out. So if you can, you, you always try to catch the critter going across this way, especially short-legged critters, so you don't get those throwouts. Okay. These things go in quick. I mean, you can put in four or five in just minutes. Get the trap down there. Twist it in just a hair. The stake isn't go, gonna go in real far, so we're just gonna leave it like that. That's the set. Now, if you so choose, you can put a little lure on this set. And I'm just gonna show you one of my techniques. And I've got, uh, we call this high water, and I designed this lure and it stays put. That's what I like about it. Um, stays put really well. It's got a spearmint flavor to it. But it'll stick on that spoon really good. Uh, muskrats are very visual. They're, they'll wa you watch them. If, they're, if you get a little too close, they see you. They, they have good eyesight. And um, just put that up there. Place that spoon right up in there and um, all the better. All the better. Muskrats respond to lure. For years I never used lure, um, but with the South Dakota rat boom I started experimenting and um, it, it seems to work, man. On floats it really works good. So um, that's call upset. It's black. That's the key. It's wet, like critter's been crawling up. With this lure though, you better you better stay good because you're gonna get coon in there. Um, but that's